Hi everyone, hello and happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys are doing really, really well since I saw you last in happy Monday Dollar Tree haul. Also last night I posted another video of the giveaway announcement winner, which was Daphne. And Daphne won the pet giveaway that I announced on Monday's Dollar Tree haul. So congratulations to Daphne. Also, um, I opened a friend mail for you guys. So if you haven't had a chance to check out Tuesday evening's video, then you can go on back and check that out if you would like. And I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. So we are going to jump right into it. I have some really cool things to show you. So we are going to start with the thumbnail. I found these glass brush pens. Um, let me read them. A glass paint brush marker and I was like excited because this is a fun thing to do for a craft night you could have a gathering with your girlfriends go pick up some glasses from the Dollar Tree and then have these little pen sets set right out on the table and have yourself a nice little girls night or you can do it alone like I most likely would just relaxing watching Netflix painting a pretty glass so this is um the color purple it's great for glass ceramic and porcelain and um this is the purple color right here so this is what it looks like it shows you the options that you can use it on right there and i think that these are really really cool so there is the purple one here is a beautiful beautiful blue one as well then there is a black option and we have a red option which is perfect for Christmas time to embellish and draw out a really pretty scene on a glass. And then we have a pink color which is a, like a really nice bright pink. I love that color pink. Um, we have a white as well. And we have a green, which is a really, really nice green. So the red, the white, and the green for Christmas to um, gift away with a pretty little set of glasses to someone so that they can have like their own glass paint night is really cute. And I really like that gift and you could make it like a little $5 gift. And I think that that is an adorable little set. I did want to try to find some glasses to marker on, but we have been wiped out at our drop Dollar Trees. I don't know about you guys, but my Dollar Trees are extremely bare and we don't have a lot in any aisle right now. They have cleared the decks. <laughs> it's literally shopping has commenced and everybody is just taking whatever is left over. So there's hardly anything for us to find. Us haulers, well me particularly right now, and I go to a lot of Dollar Trees and almost every single one is the same way. So I got what I could and what I really needed to haul for you guys today, but this might not be a long video because of the shopping bonanza that's happening right now. Um, then I found this other thumbnail little addition here and I was like, wow, this is a cool find right here. My son loves to bring like little, um, individually wrapped snacks for his lunch for work purposes when he's on his 40 hour a week co-op job. Um, every other week, every week. Um, every other week he has a class week and then the week after that he has a shop week which he works 40 hours during that week at his um, trade and it's an actual job. They've actually already hired him for full-time work after he graduates this next year and um, it's a really great company where he can advance and they're going to pay for him to continue his schooling in his trade. So anyhow, um, so his snacks are very necessary and he likes the individually wrapped ones and this is the post cocoa pebble crisps so he I got two boxes and so that's 12 all together for two dollars which is not bad and he said that they were really good the date on them was well within range and they're going to be gone really quickly so this is for February of 2022 in a couple of months but 
um, they are not going to make it until February. So we're good. And then I also found this right here, which I was excited about because this is really nice to put into a gift basket with some tea, a nice little teacup, a cute little stirring spoon and these type of cookies. So this is the Grace Gourmet Delight Assorted Tarts Strawberry and Pineapple Filling. And um, yes, I love these. My Nana's always used to have cookies with raspberry filling or strawberry filling in it, just like these. So whenever I see anything that looks like this, I have to grab it. And I love that it has a pineapple filling to it. So this is a really nice looking, beautiful little box of cookies to give for gifting purposes for Christmas. Um, and I love that. And I got one for us too at the house during Christmas. Then I found these from that scrumptious brand and these are hazelnut, hazelnut cream filling and they're those wafer cookies and they are so yummy. The wafer cookies with the chocolate, the cocoa um, chocolate in it and these have hazelnut. So this is, um, it doesn't say, it's a 5.29 ounce wafer roll and these look really good so I picked up two boxes but again look at the style of this packaging how beautiful it is it's really really such a pretty gifting type of cookie and this would look so cute in a gift basket so I picked those up for myself and to gift away I also found these these right here which are mousse munch and I had to get it just because it said the word moose on it and I absolutely love wildlife and I love moose and gifting, 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 snack baskets, um, just really, really great little addition to a gift bag, um, gift box, gift bag, gift basket, whatever you're doing. Harry and David Moose Munch Premium Popcorn, the best popcorn on the planet. It says classic caramel. So I picked this one up. Then I also got this one, which is the dark chocolate. And that one tickles my fancy. And then this one is the milk chocolate. So there were three different options and I picked up one of all three different kinds to put in a gift basket. So I was excited about all of those cutesy little cookie type of finds because this girl just loves to make baskets and I love to make gift arrangements and stuff. And um, to have those is going to be a really nice addition to my little coffee mug and coffee um, ground and then a cookie with it and it's it package it together away it goes and somebody can just sit down munch and sip and it's a good day i found this right here from the disney princesses and this is a color fold and display your paper crafts which i thought was really really cool so it you can make a fan a heart it's like origami i think it's really awesome and i've never seen this type of set at the dollar tree so i definitely wanted to snatch it right up and this is um make five projects that's what it says and it has all of those beautiful princesses it has five markers in there as well and these are you know, the things that you are going to find inside of the box that you can make the five projects with. So I think that that is really awesome. So I'm going to give that away to my donation pile for kids for Christmas. Then I found these also, which I love these because I loved playing cards as a kid. And I always played kid cards with my son also as he was growing up. And this is from Game Games Hub, classic card games. And this one is the fish set and a zoo snap card game. And there's 36 cards in one and 37 cards in the other one. And look at how adorable the packaging is. It says six plus right there. So these little card game sets are really, really cute. A pickup, stocking stuffers, 
really, really nice. And it, it encourages family time, you know, involvement with one another and just having some downtime together, not on electronics, not watching TV, engaging, laughing, and having fun with your family and friends, to which I love that. Then this option right here, which is Old Maid, one of my favorite card games for sure. And then Happy Families. I've never heard of Happy, Happy Families before, but I certainly can't wait to play it. So here is this option from that same brand as well. And I think that these are unbelievably great. Really, really, really awesome. Then I found this multifunctional head and neck wear, unisex size. It's a 20 inch by 10 inch. It's moisture wicking, wind resistant, four way stretch, stretch and lightweight. And of course it's tie dye. So I picked this up and I'm going to use it for a face mask. I can also use it to hold back my hair. You, I can scrunch that up into like a nice like head wrap. And I absolutely think that the tie dye on it is really, really beautiful. And it's Briscoe. Briscoe Brands. That's the name of it. So I found that and I was really excited for that. I also found this and I found this for my mom because we we have always been like, why don't we have bobby pins? Why don't we, ha why doesn't anybody have bobby pins? Nana's always used to have bobby pins, but we never have um, bobby pins on hand or, um, not bobby pins, <laughs> safety pins. Safety pins is what I meant. And then I found this whole little pack right here of safety pins. And this is the cut and sew 100 pieces, assorted safety pins, and premium quality. And they have all of these different sizes inside. So here's really large ones like a medium, another smaller medium, and a small size and all of these different safety pins. So that's really, really cool. And my mom likes to sew and she helps us very much by being a really good sewer. And so I picked her up this to go with the safety pins. And this is a cute little sewing kit right here. And um, it comes with a thimble for your finger and then all these different threads, if you can see them, okay? Different colored threads are all within this. Um, a measuring tape right there. And then, uh, all right, so let me just read the front of it. Tape measure, safety pins, straight pins, a thimble, six thread spools, assorted buttons, needle threader, and a needle compact. So that is what is within this case. Really really awesome. So I was excited to find these two things and how perfect are they going to go together? And I'm going to put them in her um, knitting basket with her yarn so that it's a whole little set for her to fiddle around with knit and sew. I love it. You know, I love it. I'm going to tell you I love it because I do. I love it. Then I got a couple of really great cards and these are the 50 cent cards. I always get my cards from the Dollar Tree, as you know, if you've been with me for a while. And um, they're either usually 50 cents each or the dollar option. And this one right here says, shine your light. And I love that it comes with this really bright fluorescent green colored envelope. And I just love the front of it. And I'm probably actually going to frame this and set it in my craft room. I love the lettering. I love the vibrant colors and every single word is a different color to which I always did bubble letters when I was growing up. I loved to draw and doodle and things like that. But whenever I colored my bubble letters in, I always did them a different color. I alternated the colors always. And it was usually the rainbow effect. So this is that card right there. And that is a blank inside card so there's nothing in there then I got this one for Christmas and this is a 50 cent card as well and I just absolutely loved the picture on it I love the mug I love the little gingerbread cookie with the little hearts it looks like a snowflake shape 
and I love the marshmallows with the little cinnamon sprinkled over them. Such a beautiful little card. And then inside has a nice little saying and the red envelope. Card options, hands down, has to come from the Dollar Tree for me personally. I just think it is so, so awesome. I'm sorry I keep bending. I'm actually sitting on a pillow today to help my back, which has had major issues. Um, this house has been going down for the count for like over a month now. My husband's, you know, up and down. My puppy's been sick. My back has been excruciatingly in pain. My ankle is having problems. I have my physical, my yearly physical on the 20th, and I cannot wait to go because I'm going to ask for some help. Um, I do have arthritis, um, and I'm wondering if it's spreading to other areas. I just have some things that I need to adjust and fix. So I'm so excited to get to the doctors on the 20th for my yearly update. Back to this. Um, I found this Pond's brand, which is a really, really great brand, by the way. And it's Pure Detox Facial Foam with Activated Carbon Charcoal. And it's a decent size bottle. This is a, a 3.5 ounce bottle of Pond's. And I'm going to put it in my son's stocking. I usually make him a whole little, you know, care kit. I usually sprinkle some things in his stocking as well. So I picked this up and Pond's is a fantastic brand. And then I got this to put in his stocking also. It's a limited edition Axe Unity for Everyone 48 Hour Fresh. And it has a rainbow on it. It has a rainbow on it and love for everybody because... Why not love? I love that saying that I see in memes on like social media and stuff. If someone can hate someone that they don't even know, then I should be able to love someone that I don't even know. That's why I tell you guys I love you all the time. I love people, you know, that just impact me in a positive and wonderful way. And everybody should be able to love whoever they love. And the world is a big place. And if we were all cookie cutter the same... What would we learn from one another? How would we evolve? How would we grow as people? It just makes no sense to think of it in such a straight, narrow way. You know, to each their own. That's just my brain. But love for everybody. And I love this bottle and I hope he keeps it afterwards. If he doesn't, I'm taking it back because I love the rainbow. You got it. So I found that and that's going to go right in his little old stocking and it's going to be wonderful. He's going to love it. He likes the Axe brand. So even though that's a small bottle, I really got it because of the rainbow on it. So he'll use it. He'll give it back to me and I'll display it in my rainbow section of my house. Then I found these glass gems and they usually have the glass gems, but I've ever, never seen the purple ones. And I love the purple ones. So I think that those are going to be really, really pretty for springtime. To sprinkle in like a pretty little glass, stick a little votive candle on top of it and light it. And that purple is just going to shimmer and shine and be beautiful and nice. So I think that that's gorgeous. Then I found this, which I think is really cool. And I've never seen it before. Um, I've never seen anybody else see it before unless I've missed it somehow. And this is from the Orb Sensory Zipper Fidget Bracelets. Um, zipper fidgets. That sounds like a fun time. I always loved zippers. So when I saw this, I was like, I want that. I want to fiddle with it. And they come with three different zipper fiddle, fidget, whatever the heck you want to call them, bracelets inside of it. So I think that's really neat and great stocking stuffer find. I always loved to fidget with things. You know that if you've been with me for a while. I like sensory type of things. It helps with my anxiety. It helps bring down my stress level. It helps me calm my nerves. And I've always fidgeted with things and manipulated things 
for those reasons. So that is going to be a fun time for me. Then I found my favorite candies that I have not seen in a really long time. It's really not candy. It's actually a chocolate. This is the A&R Alley and Rose Dark Chocolate uh, Acai and Blueberry. Um, and they are so good. And they usually used to carry a pomegranate and chocolate option as well. But I was more than happy to see this because I haven't found these in a really, really long time at the Dollar Tree. And I found them this morning and I grabbed two bags because when your girl comes out of work and she is feeling like crying <laughs> from stress and pain, chocolate always makes everything better. And with a little blueberry in the middle, I'm not mad at it. I, I just love it so much. So I found this. I grabbed two for my special treat days when I really, really need that treat on the way back to the house so that I can just let it rip and um, cry and eat chocolate on the way home. I found this mini wreath right here and I thought it was just, just sweet. I just thought it was so sweet. I love the pine cones and the white berries and the greenery. It's really, really pretty. I would put it like this nine times out of 10 and stick a candle up and throughout the middle of it and use this as like a little base around it. So that is the purpose that I got this for. But how cute, how cute is this? I'm straggling, you know, finding little Christmas things that I don't have. And um, we're pretty much out, like I said. We have been, the decks have been cleared and everybody has taken the remnants that was left over. So I was lucky to find anything pertaining to Christmas at all at this point. And next year, I am for sure that I want to have an elf-themed Christmas. And I love this sign. I was so happy when I found it. I didn't know it existed, but I'm more than thrilled to have it now. This house is under elf surveillance. And I just think it is the cutest thing with the little elf hat right up in the corner, shimmering and shining right right onto the little sign here. The little elf feet down the bottom. Really, really cute. And I love, love the candy canes. So I picked this up. It's one of my latest additions to my Christmas hauling. And we're almost done, guys. I can't even believe it. We have almost hit Christmas. And I am so looking forward to still doing so many things pertaining to Christmas. But I feel like I'm running out of time and I'm not going to be able to get all of the things done I want to get done. The crafting things that I've been wanting to do. Um, you know, just, just all these different little events, get-togethers, parties to throw. We're just going to have to make more plans for 2022. And use some, you know, of these things up for next year. I found these and these I'm going to use for next year also because I already have my stockings up. But these stockings have to be the cutest ones I think I've ever seen the Dollar Tree come out with. And so here's the moose one right there. Then we have Santa Claus. I was so happy to find all four options in this line. Then we have a penguin. So here's the penguin. So cute. And then we have a snowman. Hands down. Best ever stockings. Personally, myself, I've ever seen, ever saw at the Dollar Tree. So, so cute. So I got all four stockings for next year and I think that they did a fabulous job on those. So, so fabulous. While we're looking at characters and stuff, it's triggering me to remember now to show you the creations that I have made this week. I made this collage right here and it's kind of just like a 3D picture, if you will. 
Those three snowmen were made out of the snowballs that came in the package from the Dollar Tree this year. I glued them together and I made them into a snowman family, which is my husband, myself, and my son in the middle. The snowflakes are the stickers. Um, the tree is from that felt pack that comes with like 12 trees. I just decorated it with all of the embellishments. The frame comes from the Dollar Tree. The other stickers surrounding it. I did take a better picture of it and I posted it to Instagram um, to share with you guys there. If you aren't following me over on in Instagram, please do. I would love to see you there. It is Crazy Days of Callan on my Instagram as well. And I love sharing things with you over on Instagram pertaining to my life, my crafts, um, you know, just my everyday being and who I am as a person. So there is a better picture over on Instagram that you guys can go check out so that you can see it more in depth. And then this little girl right here, this little snow girl right here with the big hair because she don't care. I gave her a big bow for her hairdo because the bigger the hair, the higher the hair, the closer to God. And so I made that little snow girl with the rice in her stocking and I embellished her and I think she's so pretty and there is a picture on Instagram so that you can see her up close and personal over there as well but I had so much fun making her all Dollar Tree based items to put her together and I did those couple of crafts this week so far and I was so happy to finally get to them because I've been wanting to do them for a while now I did find I did find this sled right here and they had two different types of sleds but I did want the one with the three sto snowmen because I love everything in three because of my son my husband and myself my three snowmen that I put together in back of me the three snowmen were on the sled so I had to get it it says let it snow and I love the sled style I love the string colored lights above. It's just a really, really pretty piece. They did a nice job. So I will use it next year because if you haven't been on Instagram, you haven't been able to see my um, house decorated as the Santa's workshop. I did post a lot of pictures over on Instagram, but I also did a vlog of my house and shared all of my decorations with you guys on crazy Callan vlogs if you want to check that out. I also shared with you our gingerbread party um, video that ended with us going out to see Christmas lights. That's over on my vlog channel as well. And now I also found this self-adhesive gift tag and this is 104 pieces and the, the gift tags in here are unbelievably beautiful. So I had to grab it, even though I think I'm all set for this year. It will be available to me next year. This is a whole page of gnome themed gift tags, and they are so, so, so cute. So I picked these up. I'll just show you a couple of pages because there are a lot of stickers in here. Here's another page right here with like hot cocoa mugs and stuff really really cute and I'll show you one more let's see I'll show you the snowman page and oh there's Santa right up at the top a cardinal a couple more uh, snowmen in another Santa so here's this page but there are a lot of pages in this so this is a nice little thick gift tag book and I think that they did a fantastic job this year with giving us options for gift tags and um, sticker books for Christmas stickers. I had so much fun sending out my holiday cards and embellishing the envelopes with the stickers. It's just been a really festive holiday season and um, I've just had so much fun and I'm really sad to see it coming to an end so quickly. So I'm going to enjoy like every moment that I can. Now last but not least for this happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul, I found this Betty Crocker brand right here of a scraper spatula 
and it's silicone and I like this one. It's dual, it's double sided. So here's this side right here. That's a much thinner, but still pointy tip. And that side right there, that's a little bit thicker. It's flimsy so it can move around nicely and get all the scrapings out of it. So I needed this because I need to do some baking. You guys got to yell at me. I have to get this done. I have been procrastinating in the baking department. It is just because I come home and honest to goodness, I am so pooped out that, you know, there's so many just regular, normal, everyday chores. Um, I can't get the gumption to then go bake after I come home and I wrangle the house and get it back together and wait for my family to come home and kind of like make it go bananas again but I love them um so then you know, want me to bake on top of that I just I need a whole day to like be here be by myself my Christmas music bumping and you know my apron on and my fuzzy socks and my cute earrings that my friend Janie got me on and just have like a fun time in the house by myself jamming out baking all day and then I'll get it done. I just need to designate myself one day. Now before we go, before we go, I have another giveaway to offer you guys. So we are going to get this done. Here we go. I have a giveaway and now I have mentioned to you before that I am going to just randomly be doing this. You don't know if I'm going to do it or not do it. I know that I have done it every single haul so far since I told you, but you don't know, I might skip a week. I might jump on and make a special video just like saying, hi guys, it's Thursday night and I have a giveaway for you guys. It might be at the end of a haul, what have you, but we're here now. So just watch my videos and know that it could or could not be a part of the program. You have to be 18 years and older to enter to give, to get your name entered for the giveaway 18 years and older subscribe to my channel comment on my videos because it's really important to YouTube to see the interaction and to like my videos to definitely hit that like button to show them that you're here you're present you know a uh, hi I'm here you know the teacher calling your name and saying you know Callan are you present and you raise your hand and you're like yes miss I'm here um, it's, it's hitting that like button is like saying, Hey girl, I'm checking you out. Um, so those four things, and then you can leave the comment down below once I show you the giveaway and tell you what I want you to hashtag. So for this giveaway, I am offering the wine stopper that I picked up several hauls ago. And this is a really good brand. I looked it up. The Bombay company if you can see it up there in the corner. And this is the wine stopper right there. Stopper topper gold hand beaded wine stopper. So that is it right there. So I'm offering you this right here. I'm also offering the wine bottle bag just in case you guys want to gift this away for the holiday season for a nice New Year's Eve guest, gift for a host. You know, you, you might be going to somebody else's house and you want to bring like a hostess gift. And this is a really cute wine bag with the tag right there. So I'm going to put this with the wine stopper. And then this pretty little poinsettia floating candle. So that is what I'm offering for this giveaway right here. So down in the comments below, 18 years and older, subscribed, like my videos, comment on my videos, leave down in the comments below on this video right now. If you want to enter to win this giveaway, um, leave me hashtag wine, hashtag and wine together so that it highlights it for me because it makes it easier for me to scan through the names and pull out whoever said wine quickly because it highlights it like that blue color instead of me having to read through the comments and try to find, you know, where the word actually is. 
it will put it together for me and point it right out. So hashtag wine together to enter to win this. I will, today is Wednesday, so I will come back on on Thursday night and announce the giveaway winner to you guys. So you have from now until th Thursday at 6 p.m. to enter to win this. And then the video will be posted sometime on when, on Thursday night announcing who actually won it. So that's it. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for being part of my days. And I appreciate and love every single one of you. And um, please always remain happy, healthy, strong, safe, loved, and always, always be kind to one another. It is so incredibly important to me to promote and push that out there. Love and kindness, that is all we take with us at the end of this life is that we we came here we loved we accepted we appreciated we were thankful for grateful for memories moments that last a lifetime and it's so important just we're here to be kind kind and learn from one another and be the best people we can be so that is all i want to encourage thank you for being that for me here and a bunch of other places when I get to connect with you, it means an unbelievable amount of happiness to me to be able to be with you guys. So thank you. All right, guys, I will see you on Thursday night for the announcement. And I then will see you on Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Hall. And I hope you guys go forward and have a beautiful, wonderful week. Love you. See you later. Bye.